all over in India, this classism is very strong. So poor people will never come to our roofs. And this people, people like us, will never go on the street to fly kites. So this differentiation will remain for life. जे अत्य दक्षिणान चले रहे होंगे, दक्षिणान दक्षिण दिशा में नमतो चला है देखा है ते उत्तर जरे घटी करे, अने मकर सक्रांति ना दिवसे विस्मा दादा है, पोतानो जेस भौतिक शरीर से इम्नोपन त्याग करे होतो, ये उप शास्त्रना नियम प्रमाण विधान आवे चे, ते जे उत्तराय जन्म देनो त्याग करे, अने अव Under the Ahmedabad sky, a delightful evocation of the extraordinary ways human beings find to express themselves. And I'm joined now in the studio by two of the team responsible for the film, co-director Francesca Lignola and Jean-Antoine Delisle, who was one of the cameramen. Welcome to the program. It's a delightful film. If I start with you, Francesca, how did you find out about the kite flying festival in Ahmedabad and why did you decide to make a film about it? I discovered uh, the Ahmedabad uh, festival, the Macau Sankranti festival, because in the past, uh, me and Stefano Rebecchi fall in, fall in love uh, with uh, the kite. And we find that India for us is a really interesting place. We find that uh, uh, the ethnographic reality of India is really deep, is complex and interesting. And so we uh, thought that the best way to, to can uh, describe uh, or show this reality uh, was to m make it uh, uh, throughout a patang, a really little object yeah. that is the Indian word to say kite. Right, okay. <laughs> now, uh, Jean-Tuan, you were the one of the f cameramen. Um, it must have been a, a fantastic job for a cameraman to film this kind of scenes uh, in, in the film. It must have been great. Yeah, yes, it was. Well, in general, let's say it's, it's a fantastic experience for a cameraman to film in India in general, because yeah. it's really, well, in one end, it's an amazing place to shoot, in, and it's kind of easy in one end, because it's so beautiful, it's so colorful, and it's so distant from everything we are used to see in, in Europe. Yeah. And while well, on the other hand it's also really kind of difficult cause, uh, because of this big difference, I don't know, it's really chaotic place. Sure. And you, I don't know, 
it, at the same time in this very big chaos it gives you the some kind of spontaneity the idea of, of course of yeah. course and it's it, but it also gives you this idea of i don't know let's say total uh, calm and uh, peace and well to try to to give that in a, such a chaotic place mm -hmm. in which there is no silence <laughs> there is no n it never stops yeah and this is the the hard side but it was really an, an amazing amazing experience tell me about the festival itself because it's it's to mark the beginning of of summer yeah. but it's um as as your film makes out it's a festival that everyone can join in whether they're hindu or whether they're whatever religion or cultural background they're from because one tends to think of india as being quite divided in caste in terms of religion economically as well what did the what did this festival teach you about i mean uh, the society in ahmedabad the makar sankranti festival is very beautiful and all the people in different region of india have the, their own uh, celebration about it uh, and uh, in ahmedabad uh, with uh, they celebrated with the kites and uh, it's really uh, beautiful festival because uh, sometimes uh, uh, there are some problems between uh, the different uh, community there are a lot uh, of different religions sure. and on that day really beautiful thing is that all the city is uh, a, like a desert there is mm. nobody in the streets because all the people go up on the roof, on the terraces. There's uh, that lovely moment where one of your contributors says, imagine, you know, in a city where everyone is not on the ground floor, yeah. but the entire city is up on the roof. And he said, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it is really strange to stay there because uh, there is like another city on the roof mm. that is so near the sky. Mm -hmm. They try to communicate uh, yeah. with the sky through the kites. And the people, they are all together. But is it, is it everybody? Is it rich people and poor people? Is it young and old? Is it quite mixed? Or? Al al no. Almost everybody, except for, uh, for the lower caste. Right. Yeah, because uh, there is classism in uh, India, and uh, his, it still continues. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the mm, lower caste is in the street, and right. they can't go on the terraces. Right. So they remain in the streets, right. and um, the special thi uh, moment that is that uh, all these people who live in the street try all these children mm. uh, try to catch the kite who fall uh, on the ground yeah, the, the, when they're cut. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, they want to resell them mm -hmm. immediately, mm. so they can earn. But it's, it's a big economy involved with the festival as well, isn't there? I mean, in all the people, that that's what comes through. It's a big, and the government supports the festival because it's a huge ec economic uh, injection for the for the city and the area. Yeah, there is a scene of that lady that tells uh, how, like, she there are like six members in the family mm -hmm. or something, mm -hmm. and each of them does around 200 kites per day, kites per day. And they gain enough money during like the week in which they sold everything quite you know, yeah. just the the week before yeah. they they are able to 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 buy food for the whole year it's so amazing. it actually is a big it, economic it sustains thing. families uh, or some mm. families for the whole time and how many people are we talking about that on this one day go to the rooftops i mean uh Millions? I think yes, because in Ahmedabad uh, there are uh, five million inhabitants, and yeah. there are five million people, and I think uh, that um, the majority are yeah, on the roofs. Yeah, yeah, that incredible. four million people are on the rooftop, <laughs> and it's really beautiful to stay there. Yeah. Because to listen to people that are screaming, they are joking because they uh, try yeah, to cut <laughs> yeah. the other kites. Yeah. Uh, it's very competitive, uh, though. Yeah. It's really competitive, isn't I, it? I think it really reflects the, the society, even yeah. what you were saying before. I mean, India is like a 1.2 billion country, and it is a democracy in, in everything. Sure. There is freedom in, in religion, in, in everything, except for caste system. The caste system. So yeah. it really, and it is a very, very, very competitive 
society. I mean, even I know lots of Indian, I have lots of Indian friends. They're hyper competitive on everything they do, right. and <laughs> it really it really reflects the. And you the see that in the kite festival. Yeah. You see that in the kite yeah. festival because yeah. everybody's on the roof except for the cast, right. and and this competition thing is Indian comes people out. have. Yeah. comes out and it's really one of the things uh, someone else in the program says is that uh, it's almost as though Ahmed Ibad is is like designed perfectly for kite flying you know like the architecture of houses even when you see the shots you know uh, you see all yeah. these flat roofs everywhere don't you it's perfect for kite flying mm -hmm. as a city yeah it's really strange because um, there is uh, also another aspect is that uh, there is uh, a river who divides the city into mm. part mm. in the old city and new sp city and mm. are really different yeah and the people also who live in the different part of, yeah. of the city is different people and um, the roof of both the parts of the city are perfect for kite flying whether in the so old <laughs> city or in the new yeah, city yeah That's yeah amazing. well it's it's a lovely film as I say the one thing also I just want to say is that the music really was very interesting in it because you don't have any narration but the music gives it even more you know variety it makes it more exciting did you pay a lot of attention to the music you used because it makes it even more colorful the whole film i can return uh, to say once again that uh, i make also the editing of uh, the documentary and in some way it was natural for me I start to say, okay, I feel that some music, uh, mm. this music is really near this moment. Mm. Uh, and so it was a really complex reality, mm. but at last was so natural, all, all the documentary, all this job, so. Yeah, well <laughs> done, it's a lovely film, and it uh, does show a completely different side to life in Ahmedabad in India. Thank you very much. Mm, thank that you. was uh, Francesca Lignola and uh, Jean-Antoine de Lille who are talking about their film Under the Ahmedibad Sky. That's it for now. Thanks, and see you next time on Witness.